On Tuesday, Islamic State militants released a video showing a masked man with a knife threatening to execute Japanese hostages unless Japan pays a $200 million ransom within 72 hours. The militant in the video spoke English with a British accent and resembles a militant involved in other executions by Islamic State. The video seemed to be a reaction to Japanese Prime Minister Abe's announcement on Saturday that Japan would pledge $200 million in aid to countries fighting the Islamic State. He said the money was, quote, aimed at supporting refugees and providing medicine and food for those in need. The two hostages are believed to be freelance journalist Kenji Goto Jogo and Haruna Yukawa, who is a known captive and in the past has identified himself as a private military operator. Mr. Abe, who's been traveling in the Middle East, didn't say whether Japan was willing to pay the ransom. Japan doesn't have a set policy on paying ransom in hostage situations. Prime Minister Abe called the threats intolerable.